So given that the angle between these two vector is is phi or alpha. Alright, so for vector R, 1 will be equal to 1 alpha 2. Vector R2, so read out this, negative 2, 3, 1. They said the angle between this vector, so means the angle is equal to cos inverse 1 over square root 84. So, refer to back to our formula. If we want to find angle between two vectors, it will be cos theta equals to vector A dot vector B, then magnitude A, magnitude, magnitude B. So, what we need here, what you need here, you need your dot product. What is your R1 dot R2? What's your magnitude A? This is R1. What's your magnitude B? This is R2. So try to find out this dot product in term of alpha. Then only we can find out find what is the value of alpha. R1 dot R2. So when we substitute back, when we substitute back this information into the equation, means your cos theta is equal to 1 over square root 80, 84. Or we can directly move it, so, so from here, theta we can compare. So you can compare. So this value is equal to this part. Indirectly that means A dot B from here will be represented by your R dot R over magnitude R1 magnitude R2 will be equal to 1 over square root 84. Alright. So if you move your cos back, cos theta equals to this value. So this value will be equal to 1 over square root 84. Substitute our dot product, 3 alpha. Magnitude. So square root 5 plus this, square root 14. So we need to solve this equation. Simplify for this. We cross multiply, then we can square both sides to get to get off of this square root. So when you cross multiply, it will be 3 third 84 alpha for that side. It will be third 5 plus alpha square, third 14. Then you square both sides to get off of the square root. There will 9 times 84. There will be alpha square. For this square, So you notice that your square root can be cancelled out with this. Uh, so square root and square can be cancelled. So inside here will be leaving 5 plus alpha square times 14. So simplify this 9 times 64. So this one expand. 
and then we collect back our alpha term minus 40 so lastly alpha equals to 70 over this so alpha can be positive negative square root under answer.